A critical path is a series of linked tasks that determines the calculated finish date of the project. Or, if you have a non-critical series of linked tasks that slips its date enough to affect the project end date, then it will become critical. In other words, long story short, it's a series of tasks that must finish on time so the project can finish on time, which right now is October the 6th. We could say, well, every task needs to finish on time. Not necessarily. For example, up here, I've got a couple of tasks that if I don't finish this task on time and it gets delayed a couple of days, well, obviously, you'll push this task out because of the finish to start relationship. This task must finish before this task can start. But if it gets pushed out a couple of days, notice it's got nothing else linked to it, so it's not pushing out any other task. In which case, just a couple of days, it still finishes before the project end date, so it's not critical. So even if it's just a day, it doesn't make these linked series of tasks a critical path. But instead of kind of eyeballing it here and finding out, what we can do is we can get a little help from our Gantt chart wizard. In other words, we can format those critical paths, give them a color in red. To do that, come up here on the formatting toolbar, click on the last button, the Gantt chart wizard. It's really simple. Click next and say, okay, what kind of information do you want to format or display? It's going to be the critical path. By default, it's going to be in red. Now you can click next and go through the other steps and figure out what other information you want displayed, but I'll click back. Critical path is good enough for me. I'll click finish, format it, exit, and there it is. So anything in red, if I delay any of those tasks by one day, it's a domino effect. It'll automatically push the next task over another day and all the way down to the project end date. If the project end date is going to be pushed out or delayed at all from its due date of October 6. Everything that's linked to that is in the critical path. We already talked about the uh, first non-critical path. Here's the second one. The first task here starts on a given date. It obviously doesn't go beyond October the 6th, but its successor here, when it's finished, it finishes on October the 12th. So I could have that finish later and still be fine. Up until we get to this point, it begins the critical path, which is for modify outline. And that has a constraint on it. In fact, you can see it over here. It says, this task can start no earlier than August the 25th. So I've got this task can delay out, or that one um, can push out a little bit until its successor hits the 25th, in which case if I go from the 25th or beyond, it's going to affect that one and dominoes down, and in which case this will be turned in red because that becomes a critical path because we have no lag or delay time here. It just dominoes right on down. So these non-critical paths can quickly become critical paths if we put enough delay time on there that it actually is going to affect and push out the project's due date here, October the 6th. One other place that you can view your critical uh, path here is going to the network diagram, maybe a light diagrams or charts. Come over here and right click on the collapse view bar and just go down to network diagram and there we go. We have our start training manual project summary task and then we have the start manual milestone. We have our phases listed below here, but then you want to scroll over because they're just listing the phases and the task will be over to the right going in in their linked relationships. So you have your non-critical path, gives you more details here in the network diagram. You can keep on scrolling over and you can see how it goes from non-critical to a critical path. So from this point forward, the modify outline, you move that out, you're going to affect the project's end date. Now, of course, just like the Gantt chart, if you want to zoom out so you can see everything in the network diagram, you don't have a timeline up here to right-click on. Instead, just right-click in a blank area and then select Zoom. Say you want to see the entire project, click OK. And then it says it can't be displayed, but click OK again. And it can, well, it can come close to fitting it, but you can see here a little bit more how that flow works. Just like the uh, Gantt chart, but again, in more detail, so zooming out isn't probably your best friend. You want to right-click to zoom and maybe make that at 100%, click OK, so we can get back to the details. When you're finished, we can right-click on the collapse view bar, go back to the Gantt chart. If we don't want to see this in red, it's served its purpose. Just go ahead and click on the Gantt chart wizard button here at the end of the formatting toolbar. Click Next. By default, it goes back to Standard. So all you have to do is click Finish, click Format it, click exit and you're back to square one. It's still a critical path, it's just not formatted in red. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.